Today we got a Legend 200 LE that just won't stay running. She won't run. We're going to change spark plugs, uh, points, condenser, coil, all that fun stuff. Even the AVR on it. So she'll charge up the battery because the battery's dead too. Here we go. So we got to get this hood out of the way. Just give us a little more room to work. You take off all your little screws on the outside of it. Off. All right, so first thing I like to do, I'm going to change the spark plug just to two cylinders, so there's one on the other side too, but sometimes they are no problematic in here. Use your pliers so you don't break anything, and we'll take that right off. Long threaded one. Wow, so she looks well. I need to persuade her to help me get this off. There's enough rust on it. Yeah, so we're just going to change them out right. That's probably one of the problems that it's having. She's, uh, she's rusty on the inside too. Okay, plant B now. So you're going to want to always double check your spark plugs. If you take out spark plugs and replace them with the exact plug, 9 times out of 10 it's alright. This time it's alright. But I have taken out spark plugs that were incorrect. So you always want to check up. Do some research. Alright, so I'll tighten this up and we'll take the next step is we're going to be taking off this... Uh, air cleaner after I take care of the spark plugs. Okay, so now we're aiming for this uh, air cleaner. Take that right off. The wing nut comes off first. It's a good spot to put things in for now. Once you get it moving, it should come off. It's sort of tight though, huh? Looks like a fairly good looking air cleaner from the outside here. Someone took care of it. And let's just, well, she is, yeah, she needs to be changed. Rusty and dirty, that could be an issue too. So we're going to take these, there's two. Uh, little bolts that come out. We'll take off this little turntable here. She's loose anyhow. And uh, this whole unit will come off. Uh, I won't bore you with it. We'll skip through it. So now that I got that air cleaner out of the way, we're going to start stripping away so we can get to this coil and that condenser. So we're going to just drop this line off. Uh, but I still want to take this holder out. So it should come out pretty quick. So now, there's a uh, nut, a bolt right here, probably hopefully the same size. Let's take this coil wire off. Should just have to just loosen it enough. Leave it right attached to the coil. We're going to take out the, the nuts and bolts that go to that coil. Hopefully they're the same 
size. So uh, usually there's three. Let me look at the new pack here. Uh, two or three might be holding it in. We'll find out in a minute how many bolts hold in that coil pack. So I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to have to unhook these wires and we'll go from there. As you unhook these wires, you want to remember what side of that coil you put they go to. Um, it's important. One opens and closes. So let's keep track of everything that we're doing here. Okay, so now that we got this uh, coil all together, all the wiring done, the only thing I did different was put this um, hose, fuel line holder up on top because it was going to be touching this. So if you run into that, it's okay to change that around a little bit. Uh, let me unplug this spark plug cap. And now what I want to do is change this voltage regulator. And so first thing we'll do is unplug these wires and these are pretty self-explanatory as long as you don't move them around and you want to make sure you hook them up the way you unhook them as all wires we need now need to take this bolt this bolt and this bolt out so we can loosen this up this is a little puzzle I'll show you how to get that out to fish that out so again these three bolts got to come out and then I'll show you that Okay, so th these are sometimes sealed in just from heat and, um, you know, dust and everything. So you just press it around, and then once you get that loosened up, there she comes right out just like that. We'll grab a new one. And that goes in. How does that go in? This one feels thick, so you sometimes have to muscle them around to get them in to sit just right. There we go. There. And that's in. So now we're going to plug in our, or, well, well, we'll put those three bolts in, and then we'll plug in the wires. Okay, so now we're just going to plug those wires back in just like you took them off. And it should be really easy to do. There's that. And make sure we put our spark plug wire on. Alright, we're going to test it. She should be ready to run. It should fire up and go. Let's see what happens. So before I always start, I just double check everything I've done. And uh, I did the other side. And let's... See if she will fire in the hole. 